This is Thomas Dalbert in Famous Storm and Lightning. In this session, we will review how to export a Revit BIM with the Onuma plugin, import the BIM XML file into the Onuma cloud, and clean up the building model in Onuma. We want to include the mechanical and plumbing components that need to be tracked for preventive and corrective maintenance. This does normally not include pipes and ducts since they would be connected at the system level instead of the individual component level. The goal is to create a web-based building model with a full collection of operations and maintenance data, including digital files, and associate them with the appropriate building parts such as components, zones, floors, systems, or the entire building. Associating individual components with specific rooms and locations in the building will improve the workflow for the technical team while maintaining these components. We will use the Onuma plugin to export all building levels and rooms. The plugin detects all components that are within the perimeter, perimeter of a room from one floor to the level to the next. It includes the parts that are normally not associated uh, with rooms in uh, Revit if they are located in the ceiling above the room. The files for the new bi biotech building at Solano Community College include uh, a central architectural file with structural, mechanical, electrical and lab equipment in separate linked files. For Revit and the Onuma plugin to be able to associate the components in the linked files with the architectural model, the linked files a file has to be bound. In some cases, Binding linked files in Revit leads to unknown fatal errors, as it did in this case. As a workaround, we opened the mechanical model independently and copied the contents into the architectural model. Now those mechanical uh, components are no longer just in the linked model, but contained as individual parts in the architectural model. In addition, we added a room to the entire area of the roof. This will create the roof space in our Onuma BIM, which contains the equipment found on the roof of the building. Once the model is prepared like this, we use the export function within the Onuma plugin to generate the BIM XML file ready for import into Onuma. During the export, we check the checkbox to include the components. In Onuma, we created the site for the biotech building at Solano's Vacaville site and import the BIM XML file that was exported from Revit. Once we have it imported, we can see that the footprint of the building corresponds to the slabs that were created in the Revit file in the ground floor. We can now go into the building in Anuma and start cleaning up those floor slabs. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to turn off the spaces so I can select the floor slabs alone. I don't need any of these slabs on the outside here, uh, unlock them, delete them. Now I move a little bit closer, take a look at what I want to keep and what I don't need. I really want only the basic basic floor slab, so I'm gonna with the marquee tool, select as many as I can here without, so I'm gonna unlock with the L key I can unlock and I hit delete key. Once I have it nicely cleaned up, I can turn back on the spaces. I'm gonna reduce a little bit the font here and I'm going to turn on the space component so I can see what I have in there. Cleaning up a model like this includes additional steps. We want to remove all the components that are not needed for preventive or corrective maintenance. I'm exporting all the components into a file. The 
exported Excel file with all the components, uh, contains all the elements. Uh, we uh, can now sort this list. Uh, I'm going to sort it by furniture name. This gives me an information, some information about what is, what is needed. Uh, <clears throat> I would definitely say that the grill, exhaust grills, we're going to keep those. Uh, but we don't need the distance lines. Uh, those are objects in Revit that were exported as well. We can remove those. We keep the supply diffusers. We do not need side elements like the side bike rack. Once we have cleaned up the file, we can save it and import this same file back in. And mark delete components that are not in the file. So whatever we deleted will be removed. Gives us the complete list of components here. And we're going to proceed and close. I'm going to now switch over to the roof. Now I want to go into this space to see what we have here and components. These are a lot of components that I want to include into the space because some of them are, some are not. Select all of these at the same time and specify that attach selected components to current space. So they all become part of the roof here. Or we have, of course, the AHUs on the roof. Once we have cleaned up the floor plan, we can uh, display the components in the ceiling plan to see how that looks. Of course, now you can see a lot more of the lights and diffusers and uh, we can also take a look at the space attributes which uh, got imported from the Revit file, ceiling finishes uh, or the floor finishes for the entire building. The next step would be to go in there and start cleaning up the data and associated, associating uh, documents and all that information. Uh, we will cover that in the next session. Thank you.